Good morning. My name is James here at Hendrick Lexus North Kansas City. Wanted to make a quick walk around video for you on the 22 RX 350 and the 2023 NX 350 uh, all wheel drive vehicles. Wanted to show you them side by side uh, to, sh to show the distinctive differences in size, uh, exterior and interior modeling, so on and so forth, features and benefits. But on the one on the left is the 2022 RX 350, that is a V6. Um, all-wheel drive and then the one on the right is the smaller but just as potent NX350 but that is a four-cylinder all-wheel drive. Uh, we'll start with the RX350, the larger of the two, and do a quick walk around on the exterior for you so you can see how the body styles um, are different. The lines will match up the wheels and the styling. Both are white obviously and then we move around the vehicle, so I'm back up a little bit here, give you some better perspective. Okay, and then as we come around, I have a curve here, so I got to get kind of close. You can see the wheels, how the rear is established as far as aesthetics, the way the lights are set up, the profile, and then looking down that body profile line with the muffler. And the styling. And close up here is the Escort badging. These are both Escort with the red leather interior. And one good last profile look there. And now we'll look at these uh, NX350. Clearly a smaller vehicle. It's the next size down. So it's a four cylinder. And then this is the 350, so it's going to be a turbo. This is the S4 it has the blacked out wheels, beautiful designing. You notice the, see how the fronts are designed differently? Different profiles. Coming around. Once again, I gotta back up a little bit here to get the full car in there for you. Let's see if I can get both. So we get a little distinctive. There we go. Some styling differences there. A very different. Um, as far as looking at it from the rear, uh, you can see here how the, uh, the braking, brake lighting system where on the RX is two side li the lights, on the NX it's the lights and a bar, and so that will light up. So some distinctive differences, but at the end of the day it comes down to size. <laughs> and, uh, we're looking around here, continue on with the R NX down the side. See the side profile here. Okay, and then uh, we'll do a, a look at the front, so you can see the distinctive differences there as well. So notice the grill on the NX F Sport, and then the grill on the RX F Sport. Very distinct. Okay, so that is the exterior of both the RX 350 and the NX 350. Now let's take a look at the inside. Okay, starting with the RX 350 interior, beautiful red leather interior, and I do have to make a correction. The interior on the NX, which I'll show you shortly, is actually black leather today, so I do apologize for that. But um, you see how spacious the interior is. Each uh, driver and passenger have their own individual space. Neither is uh, infiltrating on the other's space here when they're both sitting in the car. They could share the console. It is wide enough. 12.3 inch display, audio and climate controls, trackpad, integrated navigation, all the features, Bluetooth, everything coming across the steering wheel. This particular unit has panoramic view, heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats, all the bells and whistles that are come pretty much standard on Lexus. So you see about a space here, which is what we're looking for. And then on the second row, again, a lot of space here. Sorry about the glare on the sun here. So you notice that distinction. Your climate controls. And then finally, coming in through the rear lift gate. Storage in the back of the RX350. There's some good lighting here. What we're known for here, other than ergonomics, is the amount of storage space in the RX. So a significant amount of space there. Moving over to the NX, 
we'll start from the rear and move to the front because we have in mind what our space is on the RX. See the significant difference here on the NX. Now that may be inconsequential to a lot of people. The NX is one of our most popular vehicles. And if you're not, if you don't need that extra space, then this might be the vehicle for you. Second row, very comfortable, still rather spacious. Even though it is a smaller vehicle, there is plenty of room. I'm a larger man myself and I fit back here fairly easily with both people in the front seat. And then finally the front, uh, some distinctive differences. A beautiful leather interior. But um, this is the 2023, so you'll notice that the console is a touchscreen. There are no accessory buttons, or there are very few anyway. Uh, no shifter. This is like the Prius. It's like a, a, it's a spring-loaded knob and then a push-button park. But everything is on the touchscreen. Your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all those features are here on your touchscreen. And that's how you access everything in the car. But uh, the steering wheel still has Bluetooth function, stereo function, so on and so forth. And then as you come across, one of the distinctive differences is that in the NX, you notice the console is a little bit, quite a bit narrower. And so uh, the driver and passenger uh, can share it, but it's not as comfortable as the RX as far as uh, owning your own space. But that is the distinction between the RX and the NX. I hope there was some good explanation, some good insight for you. Let's go around here one more time and give you a step away view here about that dead space in the video but i gotta step back quite a close here all right so there you go you can just once again see the distinctive size differences i reflect back to the space in the video you can make some choices there and then i look forward to hearing from you once again my name is james you can reach me at 816-801-2424 that's 816-801-2424 kyle tells me that you're thinking of coming in this weekend we look forward to seeing you and giving you your first experience with lexus have a wonderful day